today we're going to be drawing a picture of Rudolph, his head anyway. You kind of see it right here. Um, we're also going to be adding some color to it and making it look kind of cool looking. So um, get your paper, you're going to need maybe some markers. I'm going to be using some watercolors to show you how to use those a little bit. Um, but you're welcome to use markers or crayons or anything like that. And um, so get your supplies together and we'll get started. Okay, first of all, we've got to start out by drawing uh, Rudolph's face. So you can start by using a pencil. That way you can erase if you make any mistakes. Um, as you're watching the video, if you need to pause it to keep up or go back and redo something, you can do that, of course. Um, I'm going to be drawing with the Sharpie so that you all can see good in the video how to draw and what to draw. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw Rudolph's nose. It's kind of big. And we want it a little bit below center, so kind of right in this area here. And we're just going to draw a big oval shape for his nose. All right. Um, once you have the oval shape for his nose, then we're going to draw kind of his mouth area. So we're going to start right here at the top of the nose and draw a bigger oval. It's going to come around like this and then back and connect up here at the top. And I already made a mark there, so I gotta hit that mark. Come all the way around, it's kind of a bean shape. And then back right there. Okay, so that, um, his mouth then is gonna go down below here. So we're gonna draw kind of a little smile right here at the bottom. And then you can add those little laugh lines at each end. Okay, the next thing we need to do is draw his eyes. We're going to start right here a little bit over the nose and we're going to draw a big U shape right here. This is going to be for his left eye. And then I'm going to start over here on the same side or on the opposite side, right above the nose. And we're going to draw another U shape. Try to keep them about the same size if you can. It's a little bit of a challenge. You can see mine are not exactly the same, but that's okay. All right, so that's the eye shapes. Then inside this, we're gonna draw a circle, but we want some of the circle to go, look like it's going below his nose right here. So I'm gonna start right here and draw a circle around and then connect down here. So it doesn't actually finish off. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You wanna to try to keep those about the same size as well like that. All right, then we're gonna draw inside like the pupil of his eye. So I'm gonna trace around here again. Like that, and still not quite drawing the whole circle there. Just like that. Okay, now we wanna show reflection on the eyes. So we're gonna draw a little oval shape in this corner right here. One over on this side. All right, and then down the bottom corner here, we're gonna draw a little circle for another reflection. So you have real shiny eyes. All right, now this part in here, you can color that all in. Later, I'm gonna do it right now real quick with my Sharpie. Okay, something else I forgot is right here on the nose, we're also gonna show a little reflection on the nose. I'm gonna draw a little oval right here for a reflection on his nose. Okay, now we need to draw the top of his head. So we're gonna start on this side of his face right here. We're gonna draw a curve around the top here, all the way back around and connect over here on this side. Start right here, and you can kind of, when you get up to the top here, you can kind of flatten that off a little bit. And then come around, and connect back down here. All right, and you see, I didn't get them quite even, but that's gonna be okay. If you want to, you can add another line if you mess up a little bit. I don't want anything. I'm just gonna color that in. In the finished project, you won't even notice. And I think I might just do that a little bit over here too. Okay. All right, now we need some ears. Our Rudolph needs some ears. So we're gonna draw a line that comes out like this. Give it a little curve out here at the end. It's almost like a B antenna sticking out. Even on that side, 
All right, and then we're gonna come down and we're gonna connect to the side of his head, the curve. Do that on both sides. All right, and we're gonna draw a line right here. That traces along the edge. And over here, so we're gonna kind of show the inside of the ear. And come down like this. All right, so that's the inside of the ear. All right, the next thing we need is his antlers. So we're gonna draw two lines right here, two short little lines on this side, right above the eye, and then right above this side, we're gonna do the same thing. You want them to try to be the same distance apart on both sides. All right, then we're gonna draw a curve. It goes up toward the top of your paper and stop before you get to the top. And we're gonna do one on this side, like that. It's okay if they're not exactly the same, that's all right. Okay, now this next part is gonna be kind of fun. I'm gonna try to do this, I'm gonna challenge you to do this all in one line without stopping. But we're gonna do three curves, one, two, three, and then connect back down here at the bottom. So watch how I do this. One, two, three, and then connect back down there. It's almost like a letter E, if you look at it. Okay, see if you can do that over here. They're not exactly the same, that's okay. Two, and three, and then connect back there. All right, so he's got his antlers there. Um, I think deer have this little knob right here too, so you can add a little curve right at the top. Maybe some of your deer hunters can let me know if I did that right or not. But just a little knob that goes along with their antlers. Okay, so this is Rudolph's face. Um, of course, we want to uh, color it in. If you drew it in pencil, if you want to go back with a Sharpie or another marker to darken it up, you can do that. Um, and what I would like to do now in the background is we're going to divide it up with some lines. I'm going to do all straight lines, but if you want to do curved lines, you can do that. Um, and kind of make it look like a stained glass window, if you know what that looks like. And just kind of go around and divide it up into some shapes. And some of the lines, of course, will touch um, his head. And that's okay. I'm just kind of breaking this up into different shapes here. All right, then we're gonna go back around and we're gonna thicken some of these lines up so that they're not all the same. So I'm gonna draw a double line there and color this in. If you want to do this with your paint, you could do that later or with uh, your marker, of course, you can do that too. Um, just go around and pick a few of them to darken up. And like that Okay. okay, now if you want to, <clears throat> you could go back into these shapes and draw some other things that maybe relate to Christmas. That would be kind of cool. Um, I'm just going to paint them different colors, um, but you know, you can get creative with it and add, add other details to it. So we're using the whole paper. Stuff goes all the way out to the edge. Um, all right, so the next step is going to be to add color. So I'm going to, um, first thing I'm going to do is paint uh, Rudolph's face, and I'm going to use some brown paint to do that. So you want to make sure, you know, you get some clean water if you're using the watercolor paints. And then you want to swish the brush around on the paint tray. Like this. <clears throat> Don't press down really hard. And then you want to hold the brush down here when you're painting with it. Okay, so I'm going to paint all his face in brown. I'm gonna use a dark brown here. And then a 
lighter brown at the top. So I'm going to do it a little bit different than my original one. Um, as you're painting with watercolors, you want to skip around. So I don't want to go right and paint the nose right away. I want to let this dry a little bit before I paint the nose. And you see how I'm always pulling the brush and not pushing it backwards. I just want to pull the brush. And paint gently. Be nice to those brushes. I'm going to use the same brown color on the outside of the ears. All right, now I can do the nose. So I'm going to use some red on my nose. Of course, I'll get some red. Put that in. So it's kind of dry here now, so I can use the red on this, this part. I'm gonna leave that little spot there white because it's kind of a reflection, so I'm gonna paint that in. Alright. Now for his antlers, I'm gonna use yellow. It'll actually look pretty good. Paint his antlers yellow. And then while it's still wet. I'm gonna get a little bit of brown, this lighter, lighter brown, or you could use regular brown, and just um, go right along the edge here, just like that, and then I'll just let that dry. Let's see what kind of effect I get with it. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, a little bit of brown. It's still wet, just put that in there. This gives a little shadow. All right, his eyes, I'm gonna make my, well, Rudolph's eyes green. So I'm gonna use a green color. <clears throat> I don't know what color deer eyes are, but let's give him green eyes. Right there. All right, and then inside his ears, I'm also gonna use a little bit of um, orange. Inside of his ears right here. All right, so, oh, I missed one spot here. Okay, all right, so we got Rudolph all painted. So kind of let him dry, and then we're gonna paint in, or I'm gonna paint in all these shapes different colors. So I've got, um, what, 16 colors here. Uh, whatever amount of colors you have, you can use. Um, you can mix some colors. You can mix colors in the boxes. Um, just experiment with them. Maybe you wanna do some stripes of different colors in the boxes, you can do that too. So um, just go through and add your colors.
Okay, so my picture's done. Um, that was fun. I hope you enjoy doing this project and I'm looking forward to seeing what your results are.